Well, the wife um, took the day off, so I took the liberty of taking her um, some of her pans and well, I'm going to use the lids for reflectors. There's one. Just washed it off. Here's another one that I've taken everything off of. They got a nice shape to them, nice and thick. Oh, they're a little bit heavy. Here's the third one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make reflectors out of these. Hopefully they'll work. I'm going to take the back side, clean it really well, polish it off with some special polish to make it extra clean, and then uh, I'll add some uh, mirror reflector spray to it. And I am kidding about taking her pots and pans. These I bought at uh, Goodwill for about, I think it was 79 cents a piece. It's a, a good price for material if you find the right use for it. I'm thinking we'll end up going to my Aladdin lamp here. Very nice lamps. Um, haven't had to use it, but um, wow, they put off some heat and they put off some light. Um, the outfits that these sit in uh, can be rather costly, just like the lamp, but I thought I'd, uh, I'd put something together that would work just as well. Maybe not look as professional, but I also thought about using these as a back reflector, like that. The other thing is I could spread the light, turn it backwards, and have it reflect all over the room, which might actually be better. But um, I think I'll give it a go both ways. If I if I make a mistake or I, I don't like it, I can always buy another one for 79 cents or whatever. Not a big loss. The finish on the inside should be actually pretty good, better than uh, most would expect. All right, thank you. If you decide to choose these here, um, it's a good idea to take a nice long look at the finish. If they're older and so forth, they're going to be more scratched. So if you want a real fine piece, you're going to have to take a good look and see that it's not scratched. Also, um, if you decide to put something long like this on it, between the glass and the bolt, you should probably put something a little flexible. I would prefer putting a very short bolt on there and attaching whatever you need to on that. That way you can set it down flat without scratching anything and you're less likely to pinch and crack the glass. Here goes the pinch up. That's not going to happen. Stuff just isn't going to dry right. This is not going very well. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There's the sprayed side. You can see the scratches from cleaning the glass. That's the finished side. Not terribly great, but it does reflect. Got some cleanup to do down here, but uh, we'll polish it up and see what it has happens. scratches on it. But um, it doesn't look too bad so far.
I'm going to go ahead and uh, torch this a little bit. But, um, it's pretty much the finished piece there. I'll try and reflect the light from behind this side toward that side. We've got some space to look at there. So here we go. 